Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem, and the problem's name is squares of a sorted array. In this question, we're given an integer array num sorted in ascending order and return the array of the squares in the ascending order. So this is the input nums given to us. We square all the elements and return its result in sorted order. So let's take a look at the example one and see how this can be solved in O of n time. So let's take a look at the example one. I've drawn the same example here. So we have the input array nums which consists of elements sorted in ascending order. We are going to use the two pointer approach to solve this question. The first pointer will be starting at the left index position pointing at the beginning of the array and I am going to create the second pointer right pointing at the end of the array. Now let's find out the element square at left. So minus 4 into minus 4 is 16, 10 into 10 is 100. So I have created a result array. So among this right square is greater. So add that element at the end of the array. So initially I am going to use a pointer i. It will point at the end and I will add the greater of the two squares at the end of the array and then decrement i. So the next output will be pointed here. And now because we already squared the element at the right index position, we decrement right. So right will now point here and left will remain at the same position. Now find the squares at the left index position and right index position elements. Left index position is 16 and right index position is 3 into 3, 9. Among the two, left square is greater. So add that element at i. So 16 will be added here. And because we process the element at left, we increment left by 1. And right will remain the same. Now let's continue to find the squares. Left square is equal to minus 1 into minus 1. It will become 1. Right square is equal to 3 into 3, which is 9. Among the two, right is greater. Add that element at the new i new i will be pointing here right so add it here and decrement i for the next insertion since we process the element at right decrement right and left will remain the same now let's find out the squares at left and right left is equal to minus 1 into minus 1 which is equal to 1 and right is equal to 0 into 0 which is equal to 0 among the two left square is greater so add the element at left at i and decrement i for the next insertion since we process the element at left increment left now left square is equal to 0 and right square is equal to 0 so the else condition passes so we add right square at i and then decrement i as soon as i goes out of bounds at the leftmost index it means that we have filled the result output so we return this result array as the output now let's code it up and then i'll do a dry run again for the second example so coming to the function, this is the function name and this is the input array nums given to us and we need to return an integer array. So let's declare the integer array first. I'm going to name it result. The result array is also going to be of the length of the input array nums. Now let's declare the two pointers left and right. Left is pointing at the beginning and right is pointing at the end of the array. Now let's use a for loop which will iterate according to the length of the result array pointing from the end. So the i inside this for loop is going to represent the element being added at the index position inside result. So we are iterating from the end of the result till the beginning and once you reach the beginning of the result array, it means all the elements have been sorted and we can return the output. So inside this for loop, let us find the left square and right square. So left square is going to be inside nums pointing at left into the same element. And now we find the right square. We square the element at right index by multiplying the same element twice. So if left square is greater than right square, we add left square at the end of the result array i will be pointing at the end of the result array so result of i is equal to left square and now we can increment left because we already processed that element and in the else block which means that if left square is equal to right square or if right square is greater than left square we place right square at result of i and decrement right because we already processed that element so we move on to the next right element and now outside this for loop which means that we reach the beginning of the result array and all the elements have been added into the result so we can return the result as out now let's run the code the test cases are running let's submit the code there you have it a solution has been accepted the time complexity of this approach is o of n because we are iterating through the result array from end to beginning so it will process all the elements 
and n denotes the length of the lumps array or the result array as both are same and the space complexity is o of 1 because we are not using any extra space and generally you don't count the result array which is the return type as a space so o of 1 is the space complexity now let's do the dry run for example 2 so i've created the result array now let's declare the two pointers left and right left will be pointing at the beginning and right will be pointing at the end now i will be pointing at the end of the result array left square and right square left square is equal to 49 and right square equal to 121 right square is greater so it will go into the else block and add right square at end of the result array 121 will be added here and then we decrement right so right will be pointing here and then we decrement i now we find the left square and right square left square remains 49 and right square becomes 9 because 3 into 3 equal to 9 now left square is greater so we add the left square 49 at i and then increment left and then decrement i for the next iteration now find out left square left square is minus 3 into minus 3 which is 9 and right square is 3 into 3 9 both are same so else block will be executed because for if block to be executed left square should be greater than right square so add the right square which is 9 and increment right and decrement i the next iteration left square is equal to 3 minus 3 into minus 3 9 right square is equal to 2 into 2 4 left square is greater so add left square which is 9 and increment left and decrement i now find left square 2 into 2 is equal to 4 right square also 2 into 2 equal to 4 both are same so else block will be executed so add the right square decrement right and decrement i now i is equal to minus 1 and this condition will fail that i should be greater than or equal to 0 which means that we crossed the left bound and all the elements inside result have been filled so you can return that as the output which is matching here so you come out of the for loop and return whatever is inside result that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one